Hi there, thanks for tuning in. My name's Maria. Today I'm going to make a couple of desserts. I'm not sure even sure why I'm, I'm all of a sudden just wanting to bake, but I don't know, maybe this is midlife crisis. Who knows? I just feel like baking today. So today I'm going to make a couple of things. One, I'm going to use uh, some apples, probably going to do a apple pie with caramel. Um, and the second, de second dessert will probably be something along the lines of something with bananas. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, my husband just walked by. He's looking at me like it. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, something with bananas. So stay tuned and uh, let's get busy. <laughs> Here we are in the kitchen and we've got all my ingredients ready to go. I will list them below so you won't have to worry about that. We need some flour, some oats, some coconut, brown sugar, eggs, raisins, vegetable oil, milk, a couple of bananas, some baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, and butter. Got a couple of bowls, whisk and scraper and a wooden spoon. I like uh, keeping the dry ingredients separate from the wet and then combine them once everything is incorporated. Got a couple of uh, loaf pans out. I'm not sure which one I'll use at this point, with, whether the large or the smaller. I'll be greasing the pan and then putting in parchment paper. Uh, oven is preheating at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get busy. We're gonna start off with our wet ingredients. So let's get our brown sugar, our vegetable oil, our milk, and eggs. Two eggs. away and whisk this together so that's some brown sugar milk vegetable oil all right that's looking pretty good and already it's smelling so good how's that even possible but it does i'm making i'm not making that up next thing we'll do is we'll add our banana mash banana in there i had two bananas you can add three to four if you'd like, but I wouldn't put more than four in this recipe. All right, so that's our wet ingredients. We're just gonna set that aside. Get our flour and the um, oats. I've already mixed it in here. And we'll just make a little well. We're gonna put our baking powder baking soda, a salt, our nutmeg, our cinnamon, Just combine those all nice together. I'm still limited how far I can bend my arm and my shoulder. So once in a while I make a little mess, but that's okay. I'll clean it up after. Now in this, I will add, well, first off, I'm going to make another well, and then I'm going to incorporate our liquid. And just like that rubber spatula, get all that goodness out of there. Let's put these bowls into the, you know, it's funny, I've got a dishwasher in this house and I never use it. That's the honest truth, never use it. I should, but I don't know. 
it's just easier washing it by hand. I'm going to take my wooden spoon and just start mixing this all together. I'll add the raisins after. You don't have to put raisins in this. It's really, it's truly a um, oatmeal banana loaf, but I love putting raisins in it. So, and I don't have any more nuts, but if I did, I'd be adding some nuts. It'd be really, really nice. All right, so now I'm going to use my whisk just for a minute. I don't have to stir it too much. Okay. Now I'm going to throw in my huge, giant, look at that. These raisins are so big. That is all just about three quarters of a cup of big raisins. We are ready to place this in our pan, our loaf pan. But I'm going to just look at the pan again and see which one I'm going to use. So I've got two big ones. One's a bread pan, one's a loaf pan. They're both loaf pans, but one's more, I use one for the bread. This one's used for bread. And I think I will use the smaller of the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and butter the sides and then put my parchment paper. So I've poured the batter into the greased pan, loaf pan with the parchment paper. Next thing is, <clears throat> I'll take my coconut. It's a quarter cup of coconut. And I'm gonna use one tablespoon of table sugar, regular sugar. Mix those together. I probably have a little too much here, but that's okay. Then I'm just going to sprinkle the coconut over the loaf. Like so. I'm going to take a knife. I'm sure you can see that. And I'm just going to run the knife back and forth. And the reason why I'm doing this is uh, some of the coconut will make its way into the batter. Okay, and then little swirls like that. Can you see that? I'll take the remainder of the coconut. Of course, I have to lift the knife, right? Mm. And then continue sprinkling it on top. Okay, so it's ready for the oven. And there we have it. Go in the oven and I'll see you just as soon as it's ready. I want to correct myself. The baking time is actually um, 60 minutes. Depending on your oven, mine might take a little bit longer than 60 minutes. I've It's a hit and miss with my oven. It's still, I'm getting used to it after four years. However, uh, just check halfway uh, into your baking, cover the top with some tin foil not completely, just loosely, and let it continue to bake, and then check it with a toothpick, or um, I sometimes use a knife, and I just dip the, knife, dip the knife into the center and bring it out. If it's fully cooked, you'll know there won't be any residue on the knife. The loaf looks absolutely delicioso. Look at that. 
I did take the tin foil off halfway into the baking and um, it just took about an hour and I'm gonna say about an hour and 10 minutes total. Here's another view. It's all cooled down and I'm ready to cut into it. So I've gone ahead and cut the, um, the oatmeal banana bread. I've got two pieces. It's cooled down completely and I'm just going to add some butter and I'm going to dig in. cinnamon, the nutmeg, the um, crust with the coconut. Mm, that's nice. Very nice. Mm. Lovely. Serve it with coffee, tea, warm milk, cold milk. It's just wonderful. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna take Alan a little slice. Stay tuned for the next one, the apple caramel pie.